the glittery yellow-ish white shade and then this one. That is not an airplane. That's a jet. Be right back, you know? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a palette bingo and I'm really excited about this one because this is going to be on my W7 Enchanted palette and I'm really excited about the look how and how it turned out in general. I think it was really really easy to do and the, this is the color scheme of the palette. It looks amazing and they are amazing. They're creamy and pigmented. They need some help. They do, but you see that in the video if you want to keep watching at least. And I am featuring some eyelashes that I just wanted to throw on because I felt a little bit extra when I was doing my mascara. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. So if you haven't seen a palette bingo before, it is basically where you choose a palette or any other eyeshadow most likely. You just randomize how, how many shadows you have in your palette or your single shadows or you can do a wheel or something. but most likely it is four to five shades. I like the challenge to just use the shades that I got, but I do allow myself sometimes to pull in other shadows that could help the look come together more. So if you are interested to see how I got this look and how I did, please keep on watching. So as I said in the intro, I am going to do a palette bingo on the W7 Enchanted palette. I love the packaging. It is so beautiful. This is how it is looking like. So I am of course going to randomize 1 to 12 and see what shadows I get. I'm excited and a little bit scared because I don't really work with this kind of color scheme but I'm up for a challenge. I think we're going to start out with four shades and then we can go into five if I need one more. If if I think I need one more. <laughs> I have 1, 2, 12 here on my screen and I have paint on my nails because we are painting our kitchen today. So that is really exciting. We are almost done. Seven. Ooh. That's a pretty shade. I haven't used that yet. It is this shade called Dreamy. It's a beautiful pinky shimmery. Yeah, this is pretty. That's beautiful. Look at that shininess, it's beautiful. Then we need one more. Scared. Nine. That's a purple shadow called Bliss. That shade right there. That is beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is not very... That is hard to get on my finger, but it's beautiful. That is a little bit more sheer. That is not... It's a beautiful shade in the pan, but you need to build it up quite a bit. This is... I tried to build it up three times now, and it's still a little bit sheer. So. Let's see what we can do with that. I have some uh, cream shadows here to help the palette if it is needed. We need a few more. Three. Well, I guess we're going to do five shades because I got that shade right there called Flourish, which is a cream base shadow. Very basic. I don't know what to do with that shade, honestly. Yeah, well, it's a matte, so that's that. <laughs> Maybe I can use it as a transition or something because it's a little bit pink for my skin tone. Maybe. Four shade. Shade number four. One. That's a glittery white, I want to say, called Ecstasy. E Ecstasy. That one right there. This feels a little bit more gritty than the other shadows, as you may can see on my finger here. But maybe it's a good topper. Maybe just glitter. That one right there. So I think I need one more shadow from what I can see. Maybe that is an inner corner shade or something. Yeah, I really want one more shade. So let's hope it's a matte or something. Well, I just got that one. Please stop. I have that one. Into type 6. 
That was not a wet. <laughs> Captivated. It is that shade right there. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know how to use it though in this look. It's a kind of a duochrome. Look at it, it's so beautiful. It's a blue, pink, purple duochrome-ish shade. That one right there. Oh, that is so hard to see. So I have five shades here. Um, I really want one more, but I'm not going to. So I am going to allow myself to pull in other shadows because this is going to be tough. So maybe just a shadow from my crease or something. So I'm going to uh, apply my eye primer and then we can get going with the... Okay, that's better, right? And now the sun is behind a cloud, so I'm really sorry. Natural lighting. I'm going to go in with Flourish first, and that was the cream shade that I pulled. I'll try to use it in my crease and see if it darkens just a little bit, because I didn't get any matte shades. So maybe it can work as a transition or something. It's a little bit dark. Yeah, you can see a difference, I think. It's not an, it's not amazing, but you can. Uh, it works as a transition. Felix, look at come in. Felix is calling me, but he can't come in here. Nope. Okay, transition down. I think it's fine. So let's go in with. I am really tempted to go in with Blossom, this corally uh, pink shade, but I think I'm going in with Charmed, that one right there, my dad is texting me, and the trucks are coming, and my cat really don't want me to film, it's my dad's birthday today, so and it's really really nice weather, so we're going to his house to eat dinner tonight. I'm really excited about it. And while I'm filming this tomorrow, we are going to England and that is exciting. I'm so excited about it. And if you're new here, I always do my eyes first due to fallout and stuff like that. I just like to do that. Um, so I don't have to be careful about my face. That's just how I do my makeup. I think I'm going to apply a base because this purple shade right there is not that intense as this shade right there. I have a transformer shade and a glitter shade. That transformer shade would be so nice on the eyelid and it would go so much so well with the purple. But the pink shade, that is so beautiful as well. I think I'm going to do the purple in the outer corner but I'm going to do a white base underneath because I think that would be best so let's try I do this with most of my shadows anyway so it's not really that it's, it's making a huge difference in my routine so let's try hmm, maybe I should use a dense brush if it's still how to do, I'm going to use my finger. I'm a little bit scared that it's going to turn out like Candied Violet in the Too Faced palette. Is it even? Not really. <laughs> I'm really tempted to just go with the pink on the eyelid, but that transformer shade right there, I think it would match the purple really nice. I'm going to pack on the transformer shade right here. It is called Captivated. Did I say transformer shade? Do come. It was a good choice to put a base underneath this as well. Not for its stickiness, but to be a little bit more opaque. So it had a more opaque base, you know. 
I think I'm going to do my base and then I'm going to be right back with the two shapes that I haven't used yet. Okay, I am back. I have done my base and eyebrows and stuff like that. So I'm going to do the two last shades that are not on my hand anymore. But that was, let me see it right, Ecstasy, Ecstasy and Dreamy. Yeah. So the white and the pink. And I think I'm going to take Charmed, that shade that I put in my crease on my lower lash line to make it come together a little bit more. So that is my base and then I think I am going in with Dreamy. Not entirely sure. Going to take a small breath and then I'm going to take Ecstasy, the shimmery white here. I'm going to put that in my inner corner to see how it is performing. That is nice. And there is glitter fallout everywhere. But I'm not really mad about it. The last shade I'm going to use is Dreamy, that pink shade right there. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Let's see how it does. I'm actually quite sad that I'm not going to put it on my eyelid. Um, but I really wanted to see how that dual chrome shade was on the lid. And I'm not regretting it, but I wish I could do more. There's so much fallout with this shit. I don't have my fluffy brush with me. Or a Q-tip. I'm going to get a Q-tip and I I saw it in. Oh my god. All of that was in my eye. No wonder my eyes were hurting. This is the eye look so far. I have put it down on the lower lash line. It's not as intense as I wanted it to, but it's fine. Touch up the crease a little bit, just with the beige shade to blend it together. Mascara time. thinking about putting on lashes just because I think it could be fun. But I got a package from We Love Lashes. It's a website where you can buy lashes of course and I got some eye lashes maybe I can try these on these are called the texture 117 lashes these are the texture I have some really crazy ones and then I have some natural ones these would be so nice just try them on without the glue they're pretty nice let's put those on they do come with this small glue. I did get an applicator, but I really don't use the applicator because I can't. <laughs> I can't use an applicator. And I'm going to let them dry for like 30 seconds or so. And then I'm going to put them on. And I have quite a big eye, so I never really um, cut them, you know. Sometimes they seem big, but... And then I cut them, but most of the times they actually fit my eye, like how they come. These are beautiful, very natural, I would say. 
Very natural. Let me see if you can see. No lashes. Lashes. They are very light and fluffy and they are really, really comfortable on your eyelid. If you can say it like that. I really, really like these. Eyelure is just an amazing lash brand. I think they are affordable and really, really easy to apply. You see? The sun is shining in my eyes. We Love Lashes is the Instagram handle and then their website is falseeyelashes.co.uk So it is a UK brand and I think if you can if you want 10% off you can use Lash 10 um, Not affiliated or anything but I think it's really really cool that you can have a look at all the lashes on this side So and I think they are more affordable on the side than in the store at least in Denmark They just asked me if I wanted to feature them in a video and of course I would well, That eye was not going to be like my right eye. It's beautiful though. Let me go here again. Oh my god, this lightning is awful, but look at those lashes. They are beautiful. And the eye look came together really nicely. I love it. The black eyeliner just did something, I think. Um, so yeah, that is the finished look. I'm really, really excited about it. Oh. That is everything for this eye look. I'm really, really excited about it. I think it turned out really, really nice. So I'm actually going to do my hair or something. Um, but I just really wanted to do my makeup and camera. Or at least my eye makeup. And I'm really excited about this Enchanted palette. I think it's really, really great. I am really surprised about the shades. They just need some help, some of them. At least the purple did. And I think Dreamy needs some help with the help with the fallout. And I am panning mystical and that is really really nice shade as well. So if you're thinking about this palette, I can highly recommend it. It is beautiful. And these eyelashes. Girl, these are nice. These are so nice if you want eyelashes. Or if you're just a beginner, eyelure is really really nice because they have a thin band and they're just really easy to apply and comfortable comfortable really comfortable so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos i'm really excited to be in london when this goes up maybe i'm even getting home i don't know this is all over the place i hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video please take care